sister. Do you remember when I was five years old when I drowned in the Kaveri floods? Do you remember when Kaveri mother took me and saved me and left me in the boat and disappeared? Aromas Hivarman asked. What is this question, brother? How can I forget it? Is it because of that incident that you were brought Bonnie's rich? Said Kundave. I found the Kaveri mother who saved me in Sri Lanka, sister. What, you haven't spoken? Aren't you surprised? No surprise, brother. But there's a lot of interest. Tell me all the details about her. One day, one time, I can't say. I'll just say the important thing. Not only did she save me from the Kaveri flood, but she saved my life many times in Sri Lanka. Saving a life is not big, sister. So many people accidentally save other people's lives. She has love for me, and that's why this era of the 14 worlds are not the same. Why? Even the love you have for me is second to none. Do not hesitate to say so. My love for you is nothing lofty, it is selfish. I tell you the truth, brother. My first priority is the excellence of this Chola Empire. I love you only because you will be useful to it. If I know you will be a hindrance to that end, my love will turn to hate. But that dumb old woman's love is not like that. She has poured out all the love she had been burning in her heart for our father for more than twenty years on your behalf. Fourteen worlds are not equal to that. How did you know that, sister? What are you talking about, brother? She is our great mother. I guessed from what father said and what Vandiyathevar said, brother. Did she consider you as her own son? Or Sakalati's son? That kind of strange thought did not arise in my mind either, it does not seem to be in her mind at all. Why do you speak in such a different way? Brother, our mother sits on the throne where that dumb woman should have sat. Isn't that very special if she still loves you so much knowing that? She must know that I am not the son born in her womb. What difference of age will she not know? She cannot speak, she cannot say what is in her mind. I know as much as I can by writing some pictures and showing her. Let me have her love, what love she has for our father. My heart immediately melts at the thought of wanting. Sister. Will father be like me in my praya? No, brother, no. Our father was beautiful enough to defeat Cupid in your prayer. Our Chola clan is known for valor but not for beauty. Our father Aranjayadavar married Kalyani, who was born in the Vaithumbarayan clan, who was unrivaled in beauty. When Kalyani was married to Aranjaya, she was replaced by a golden cow, Panada Mini. Purana Chandra was portrayed as Bhuvana Mahini with full face. You have seen how beautiful Kalyanipati is even after all this age. So our father was also so beautiful. He got the title Sundarakalar. We are born with our mother. People born in Thirukovalar Malayaman dynasty hate beauty, beauty is for valor. Those who think they are the enemy. I don't know what beauty and valor have to do with each other. But I do know that beauty and love have nothing to do with it. Otherwise. Otherwise, why is this girl Vanati staring at you from behind the pillar? Or why is Santhanamudan in that boat looking at Fungajali in ecstasy? The prince smiled and said, Sister. You've gone from something to something. I told you about the love my elder had for me. If it goes, let it go, is it possible for one to be as real as another in this world, sister? Why is it not possible? It is possible for twins or mother and daughter to be identical in one praya. Besides this, in the creation of Brahma, unrelated people are rarely identical. Could it be true that Vandiyathevar says that Pavuvar Ila Iirani and Arparian I saw in Sri Lanka are the same? I only saw Nandini when she was a little girl. I have not seen Pavuvar Ila Iirani properly. What do you think? I have never seen our great-grandmother except for the Queen of Palyavur. But what Vandiyathevar said must be true. I learned it from the history told by my father, brother. Did the father tell you? What did he say? When did he say it? Her father thinks she is dead. 
he is thinking that because of his crime, she was hurt and died. Brother. Let's leave aside all our preconceptions about the Chola Empire. There is a duty that you and I must try to do to our father. You must somehow bring that Madarasi from Sri Lanka to Tanjore. She was not dead to her father, we have to prove in person that she is alive. Otherwise, our father would not have peace in this birth, nor would he have peace in the next birth. There is a duty that I must try to do to our father. You must somehow bring that Madarasi from Sri Lanka to Tanjore. She was not dead to her father, we have to prove in person that she is alive. Otherwise, our father would not have peace in this birth, nor would he have peace in the next birth. There is a duty that I must try to do to our father. You must somehow bring that Madarasi from Sri Lanka to Tanjore. She was not dead to her father, we have to prove in person that she is alive. Otherwise, our father would not have peace in this birth, nor would he have peace in the next birth. Even more so, do you want to tell about the mental state of a woman who was sexually assaulted like our great-grandmother? Is it any wonder that she roams the jungles of Sri Lanka like a madwoman? Just thinking about it makes my chest explode. There is a desire to somehow bring her back to her father. But do you think our father would like that, sister? Whether father likes it or not, it is our duty, brother. Our father screams at night thinking that the ghost of the dead woman is haunting him. That is why he does not get well. How did you know this, sister? Did father tell you this too? So did my father, so did my friend Venati. Did Venati tell you? What does she have to do with this, sister? Did you tell her, what? No, no. I will tell her what happened one day in the Tanjore Palace. However, you are very wicked, brother. You have forgotten the culture of the Chola family. You did not speak a word to the princess of Kajumbalur. You did not even ask her if she was well? Is this the respect you show to the daughter of the mighty Velar? Is it beautiful? Sister. What's the concern when you are there to take care of Venati? I'm just inquiring if she's okay. Very well, shut up. Venati. Come here. I want to see you like a prince. Said Kundave. Venati came near. Standing without looking at the prince, she said, Sister. Why do you imagine? Their brother doesn't want to see me. His eyes are on the stream in that stream. He seems to have to go back in a hurry. She said in a silky soft voice. It seems that she mentioned the stream while thinking of the flower pot in the stream. The prince laughed and said, Sister. Your friend knows how to speak, I was afraid she was a mute with the mutes of our family. He said. Sister. I don't feel like talking when I see him. I am afraid that I have become mute, said Vanathi. That's very good. There is one among Kodakare, Damayan of Punguzali. He talks to others in a babbling manner. But when he sees his wife, he becomes dumb. So his family called him dumb, said the prince. This Kajumbalar girl is a bit like that. Before, if you ask her to be quiet for a while, she can't do it. Once she starts talking, she won't stop. When you first went to Sri Lanka, her speech has decreased since then. She sits alone and thinks about something. If it goes, let it go. Venati. Tell the prince in detail all that happened that night in the Tanjore Palace, said Kundave. Let the princess of Kajumbalar sit down and tell me, sister. Her great father will melt if he sees her standing for so long. Whenever he sees me, the commander of the southern army will inquire about her. Neither you nor I will tell you anything about her. Therefore, I will not be able to answer him said the prince. I told the monkey warrior about her in detail, didn't he tell you anything? He must have said it, sister. He will never miss a thing. He remembers so much. Vanatha said. That's true too, after seeing your Olay my mind was on nothing else. Even my ears are a little dull after this surah. Tell your friend to speak out loud. Arulverman said. 
Later, Vanati told that after going to the Kundave Durgai temple in Tanjavur Palace, she went for a walk alone in the Manmatam, heard the emperor's voice of terror, went to that place and looked down, and what she saw there. Every now and then, whenever Vanati happened to look up at the prince's face, she stopped in a daze. It was necessary for the young man to prod her every time. The prince, who was listening to everything with interest, finally said to himself, Sister. Your friend seems to have left out an important incident. After watching and listening to so much, she must have fainted and fallen. He said. Kundave smiled, Vanatha bowed her head with a sigh. Kundave looked at her with loving eyes and said, Vanati. Come and stroll along the river bank for a while, or at least go to where our retinue is. A Rolverman will be here for a few days, let's meet again. She said. That's it, sister. I'm back from browsing. Saying that, Vanati ran away. I don't know how she got so excited all of a sudden. A Rolverman, who was watching her go with a bright face and white eyes, looked at him when she disappeared. Sister. I see the cause of the father's lamentation. But what do you think of the scene he saw? What could be the apparition before him? The father's delusion? How, then, did your friend's delusion occur? Seeing my father is not a delusion, seeing Vanati is not a hallucination, it was a midnight play in front of my father. Ilayarani Nandini of Pavur played the main role in it. I guessed this right then and there. After the details that Vandiyathava and you gave, it was confirmed. What is the reason for that drama? Why would the Queen of Palvur do such a thing, sister? Nandini has doubts about her birth. She knows that Chakraborty looked at her and lost her memory the previous time. After that her father never came forward. She has done such a drama to find out some truth. Did you know, sister? I do not know. Nandini's soul cannot be known even by Brahma, who created her. I feel sorry for her if Palyavatare thinks of her, brother. We talked about beauty a little while ago, didn't we? Nandini is the most beautiful among women. We all do not get her feet dusted. And the men who faced Nandini are also hers. They become slaves instantly. Palyavetarayar, Madhurand Hakar, Thirumali Upan, Kandan Maran, and lastly Parthapendra. First Minister Anuradhar is afraid of her beauty and does not go by her side. Aditha Karikalan does not come to Tanjore because of that. Brother. He is the only one who survived without fearing Nandini's beauty and without losing to her. You mean the monkey warrior? Yes. He is. That is why I have sent him to Kanchi to Aditha Kari Kalan. What for? Pavur Rani Kadampur has sent Artamayan to come to Sam Bavariyar's mansion. I have sent her to prevent their meeting. Even if they meet, I have sent her to ensure that nothing bad happens. Kari Galan does not know that Nandini is his daughter. I also do not know if Nandini has discovered our relationship. Are you sure she's ours, sister? What doubt about that? Brother. Ever since I came to know that, I have completely changed my mind. When we were children, I hated and insulted Nandini. I was jealous of her beauty. I planned that you and Carrie Kalan should not talk to her. Even after she left for Pandyanath, I had Asu and hatred for her. They were like that. After I came back after marrying Kaisar from Pavur, I have humiliated her so many times. I have decided to atone for all that. How, sister? What kind of atonement? The next time I meet her, I will fall at her feet and ask her to forgive me for all my crimes. I will accept whatever punishment is imposed for it. I will prevent that. You have not committed any crime and you don't need to apologize to anyone. There is no one in this 7014 world who can punish you. You are not jealous of Nandini the young queen of Palyavur. She is the one who envied you. She is the one who hated you. Brother. You said that you are saddened by the thought of our great-grandmother who wanders like a madwoman in Sri Lanka. My heart breaks when I think of how Nandini, 
who should have lived in the palace with all the comforts of life, suffered in life. Due to the mistakes made by someone, some time ago, Tamak, who was born before me, had to marry this old man. Sister. Do you have any idea how all this could have happened? What is the reason for father to think that our great-grandmother is dead? What is the reason for Nandini to grow up like an orphan somewhere, in someone's house and come to this situation? That. My chest has been heaving ever since I heard that. I am worried that the Queen of Palvur is going to do something without knowing that the clan she was born into is a Chola clan. What if you tell the Queen of Bavur everything? I don't know what good it will do. Her anger will increase for all of us. But we must do our duty. It is right that you have sent Vandiyathevar for that. But shouldn't you also tell your father? Why should he be suffering not only physical pain, but also mental pain? We can leave for Tanjore right away, can't we? Not at all, brother. I am leaving for Tanjore in two days. But you must stay in this Sudamani Viharam for some time. Why do you say that? Are you still telling me to hide and live in hiding, in defiance of my father's orders? Yes. If you come to Tanjore now, the whole country will be in chaos. The people are angry with Madhurand Hagar and the Palyavatarayas. They are even angry with the emperor for asking you to be imprisoned. If they see you now, the people will be in a flood of emotions. I don't know what the consequences will be. People want you to be crowned immediately. Even if they shout, they will. They will besiege the Tanjore fort and the palace. The father's heart, which is already hurt, will be further hurt. Brother. I wrote you a letter saying that the kingdom is in danger. For the same reason, I think it is better if you go back to Sri Lanka now. Sister. That is impossible one day. I will not go back without seeing our father. If I think it best to come secretly to Tanjore, I will do so. But I must see the emperor. I must tell him who is the goddess Kaveri who saved me. I'll take care of it and tell you. Do you want to come and settle it? If I tell myself that I have seen it myself, my father will have full faith. My heart will also be comforted. I will also get his permission to bring Puriyama. A rule of Arma. I have not stood in the way of your wish. But stay at Sudamani Viharam for another week. I am going to Tanjore first. I will inform my father of your arrival and send a message. Brother. I have come here not only to see you, but to ask you for a boon. If not, I will not trouble you later. Men are men who must take risks. It is my wish that you should become famous as a matchless hero of heroic and celestial prowess. But again, before you put yourself in danger, you must fulfill my request. Why so great a panic, sister? Did I ever deny what you say? I have not refused, I am still asking with that hope. Aditha Karikalan has not married, nor does it appear that he will marry, Sundara Chola's clan must be founded by you. You must fulfill my wish in this matter. If I consent to fulfill your wish, will you not consent to marry the woman I love? What is this that you ask? For twenty years our wishes have not differed. Why do you ask consent to this alone? Sister, there's a reason for that. Shouldn't the woman I marry be compatible with fulfilling my daydreams? Brother. Do you wish to fulfill your daydreams with the consent of a woman? said Kundave. At that time, oh! Oh! Sister! Sister! A threatening voice was heard. The voice is Vanati's voice. 